Hello, dear friends! In photos of German soldiers during World War II as well as in war movies, you can sometimes see a metal badge with rounded ends. Why do German soldiers wear this item on their chests? Where did it come from? And what was its purpose? Let's find out! This metal badge was worn on a necklace, and to keep it from dangling, on the back side it had a holder for a button. From a historical point of view, it is a preserved part of the armor called gorget, aka necklace. In 1740, by the order of Friedrich the Great, the cavalry corps of Felgiger was created, and in the next year the infantry corps of Felgiger. Thus, the German military police appeared. Its duties were to escort and protect the royal family, deliver import messages and orders, and guard the roads. After the Franco-Prussian War in 1870, the first division of military gendarmes, or Feldgendarmerie, was formed, which took over the control of maintaining discipline and order in the German army. By the beginning of World War I, about 2,000 soldiers and officers served in the German military police. By 1918, their number reached over 6,500 soldiers and non-commissioned officers. Germany's defeat in the war led to disbandment of the German military police and the transfer of its functions to the army patrol service. After the Nazis came to power in 1933, the SS patrol service, the Felgiger, and the German police merged into a single police unit, under the leadership of Reichsführer SS Himmler. The motorized gendarmerie was created from the ground up and staffed with experienced officers from the civilian police. After 1939, on its basis, the Corps of Field Military Gendarmerie was established, which included 8,000 soldiers. In the Third Reich, the badge depicting a gorget became the hallmark of the Feld gendarmes. In addition to them, the same badges but with other inscriptions were worn by Felgiger, soldiers and officers of the railway guards and patrolmen of the garrison service. On the Eastern Front, the Felgendarms with such badges could initially be found on military important roads and crossroads. But from the spring of 1942, these badges began to appear less and less often. Very quickly, Soviet intelligence and partisans realized that fell gendarmes were easy and at the same time valuable targets. Unlike officers who usually roamed the roads with their units, and as for staff and high command they had their own guards, the fell gendarmes served in threes and were much easier to capture or just to shoot. A fell gendarme who goes everywhere and takes part in operations against partisans, and especially a guard of a large railway junction, could tell a lot of interesting things. In addition, by removing his uniform and badge and putting them on himself, a Soviet partisan could easily stop a military column, after which it would come under fire from his comrades. For this reason, gendarmes in the field usually took off their badges and put them on only when they felt safe. Thus, this attribute of the uniform of the gendarmes turned into a black mark, which no one wanted to wear anymore. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, support it with likes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye everyone, see you soon!